just like the doom that befell Dunwich, doom has fallen Star Wars. If there was any hope of Star Wars coming back, friends, it is gone. It's over. I surrender. You have beaten me into submission. I cannot take it anymore. I know I'm going to get assassinated for this take. But welcome, friends. My name is the man you may know as Z, and I am here from Our Reviews Will Kill You to bring you Star Wars news. Dave Filoni, the savior of Star Wars, has been promoted. And you can take this one of two ways. Because I know a little bit about corporate. And I wonder... I'm going to try not to be a doomer on this. I'm going to try real hard. It's going to be very difficult to convince me, but let's have a conversation here as we talk about it. It looks like Dave Filoni gets a big promotion at Lucasfilm, expanding his role within Star Wars. Now, I feel like most channels are just going to give up and say that this is the worst thing that could possibly have ever happened to Star Wars given Ahsoka. And before I break it down... Let's talk about Ahsoka real quick. Now, if you wanted to see my review of Ahsoka, Ahsoka is terrible and a horrible, horrible series that makes no sense is poorly written. But what Ahsoka, what's fascinating about Ahsoka, Ahsoka is a George Lucas Dave Filoni creation that was supposed to die in Order 66, but somehow once Disney purchased Lucasfilm and Dave Filoni got to hang around, he got to keep his little pet project, and she stayed alive, which disrupts the continuity for everything because now you have Luke Skywalker's nowhere to be found in the galaxy. It doesn't, it doesn't even matter. So we, so we break canon because of Ahsoka. But before we come back to his promotion, let's look. Now, this article is from September 21st, 2023. Ahsoka debates, uh, debuts at number two amongst Nielsen Ratings Originals. Suits still, so she doesn't have any competition. This is the week of August 21st to 27th. A lot of people checked it out. It was number two um, on the Nielsen Ratings, right? So big, like not, not like the strongest debut ever, but but good. Good enough to get people interested, right? So here's what happens as we go further into it. This is September 21st, okay? Uh, we go further in. Ah, let's see. What have you done to me? This is bounding into comics, and, and we'll say they're stilted by their reactions. Oh, my God. Come on with the ads. Ahsoka finale viewership data claims it lost nearly a third of its audience, down over 40% compared to the Mandalorian Season 3 finale. Okay, so the Dave Filoni directed... Filoni. Filoni. Filoni Ahsoka series reveals that the show lost nearly a third of its audience from the premiere episode. It only... The series finale only drew in 863,000 U.S. households. Now, that is slightly better than Batwoman from three years ago, right? Just pointing this out. And this is from Samba TV, from Nielsen, and, you know, it, it, not great, right? That's down. It was at 1.2 million, which brought it close to Loki. Not quite Loki, season one, but let's keep going. Now we have comic book news. This is September 30th. Now, remember, this is from the finale. This is a report from October. 12th once the series was over but we're we're still in the series oh my gosh all these ads thank you disney uh ahsoka star wars ahsoka completely tanking in the ratings the numbers from week one to week two are down nearly 50 percent okay and this is watch time from its second episode and if you recall sabine gets killed but then is immediately okay in the next episode and there's a lot of standing around and not a lot of talking. Let's keep going. Now, here's show media. This is what's on uh, what's on DisneyPlus.com. 
obviously shilling for Disney Plus. Ahsoka, and th- this is them admitting the truth. Ahsoka finale ratings fall short, but the show is still worth checking out. It's not. It's terrible. I could sum up the end in in two seconds. So, so I'm just pointing this out. You have Bounding into Comics, which is obviously a stilted. They're going to go after Ahsoka. They don't like Ahsoka. They hate it. They're going to say, okay, viewership down, lost over a third of its audience. Here is what's on Disney+. Plus. They make their living off of what's on Disney+. Plus. Star Wars ratings down, but you should still check it out. It's still good. That's what they're saying. So let's rip it back up. We're going to go back to Dave Filoni getting his big promotion. And here's where I'm going to try to not doom and gloom everybody. Now, think of this. And and I'm just trying to be an optimist because I know the Dave Filoni stands are coming for me. It's okay, guys. Fellas, ladies, relax a second. Let's talk. Let's have a real conversation. That's what this channel is about. We're having a real conversation. I'm a shilling for either side. I did not like Ahsoka. I thought it was bad. There was a couple of tiny things I liked about it. But come on. Better than Ezra says he doesn't want to use the... He's like, the Force is my ally. I don't need a lightsaber. And then immediately picks up a blaster and starts shooting people. Come on, folks. Last... In the last... One of the last shots of the season, he gets out of a stolen um, Imperial ship and doesn't take... He gets out in his... In his store, the stormtrooper outfit that he stole, bruh, you just landed on a not rebel, but new republic ship with a stolen imperial ship. And you'd think you'd take your mask off because, you know, people would recognize it. Takes the freaking droid to recognize you. Bad writing. Bad writing. It, it, it just is what it is. You might like the show. Bad writing. All right. Anyway. Dave Filoni gets a big promotion, and for all of you Dave Filoni stands, you're all going to say, oh, Dave Filoni's the best, he came up, be, 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 be. guess what? He did not direct Clone Wars, friends. He did not direct Rebels. He was the supervisor. So, let's split the difference. I mean, Star Wars is doomed, but let's split the difference. He got promoted to the COO, the Chief Creative Officer. And for those of you who don't understand what that means in uh, the hierarchy of a giant corporation, he's not going to direct anything anymore. Think of him as Kevin Feige. Think of him as the idea guy. Now, Kathleen Kennedy needs to be fired immediately. And Dave Filoni and John Farrow and all of them wiped out, start over, Let's get fresh. Let's do it all. But let's say that doesn't happen because Disney, Bob Iger needs to step in and wipe Lucasfilm from the face of the earth and restart everything. But let's say that doesn't happen because I know you guys don't agree with me. Not all of you. Some of you do. Most of you do. But the minority that does not agree, let's keep talking. Let's say for the sake of argument, we get the status quo for the next five years, maybe three, because I th- I forget how long Kathleen Kennedy's contract goes, but let's say three more years. Let's put it on the plate. Let's say that Dave Filoni's in charge of everything, but not directing and not writing. Let's say he can hire a better writer, a better director, maybe Tony Scott from Andor. Some of us hate it. Some of us love it. I love it. Some of you hate it because there's no lightsabers in it. It's okay. We can split the difference. Let's say he encourages Tony Scott, or I don't care, fire Tony Scott. Get somebody else who can write better. And it better not be Taika Waititi, and it better not be Ryan Johnson. Let's just, let's get rid of everybody. Let's start fresh, and let's just say Dave Filoni has his way, and he hires the most amazing writers you've ever thought of. Whoever you want that's not these old people. Let's do that. So if he's the chief creative officer, or uh, whatever his new title will be, right? Terrible news. Um, But if he's the chief creative force and he's not actually directing anything, you know, he he collaborated with George Lucas on the Clone Wars, co-created Rebels, didn't direct. I, I think he wrote like one episode. 
and he wears a dumb cowboy hat. Well, let's say he hangs in there, and uh, you know it, it looks good. I just, I, first of all, to me, this decision means that Lucasfilm is absolutely lost. They need to clean house. But let's say he stays in for three to five years. Maybe he gets to bring some stuff to life that you guys like, or maybe that we can all agree on that is mediocre at best. I don't know. I'm trying not to be a doomer. I can't. The doomer in me says this is the worst thing ever. Burn Star Wars to the ground. It's already done. It's burned. Obi Wan Kenobi is the worst thing I've ever seen on television. It very close to the worst thing I've ever seen. And um, Ahsoka is just as laughably bad. Okay, terrible writing. You literally made a good actress like Rosario Dawson suck. Like, come on, people. You you, you could have you did her dirty. And Ray Stevenson's dead. The most interesting thing about the show, he's gone. Rest in peace. So, what do we do? All we can do is hope. That's all we can do. Is hope gone? I don't know. You tell me in the comments below. Chief Creative Officer at Lucasfilm. If he never directs another thing ever, that's okay. And if he wants to keep putting Ahsoka in everything, as long as he's not directing it, man, okay. I'm just saying, take Dave Filoni's hands off everything. Clearly, John Favreau got booted. Who? I'm gonna okay. One last point. I'm gonna wrap this up. We talk about Mando season three. I'm gonna say almost all of you hate it. Right. Here's how I know that John Favreau, and I'm not saying he's he's the greatest thing since sliced bread. I'm just saying how I know he's moved on from Star Wars. If you remember, there's a shot of Grogu while they're in hyperspace, and Mando is sleeping, and Grogu is watching through hyperspace, and he sees those damn whales. That was Dave Filoni's influence. And if you like season three, Dave Filoni had his fingers all over it and he was making it sound terrible. So I plead with you, if you ever like Star Wars, you will join me in saying this is the worst possible thing ever. But if you want to be hopeful, we can all say, Dave Filoni, don't touch anything. You, you Give ideas, it's fine. You worked with George Lucas, you can collaborate. Don't direct anything, don't write anything. And I'm still, I suppose I'm going to watch it because I have to review it for you guys, but I ain't going to like it. So, very ranty of me. I'm very confuzzled with this because the doom has come to Dunwich and I am, I am done. Catch our full-length audio podcast. It is on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher. You can catch the live stream here on YouTube anytime you want. We're here. We're here to party. You can enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. And there's a we, because we like to party. Anyway, thank you so much for listening to me rant, and I'm trying my best to keep it together, folks. I love all y'all, but I'm on to the next one. <laughs>